Now we're going to talk about splines or lines in 3D Max. To access them, go to the Create window and in the subpanel, select the second button. Which, if we leave the cursor on it, it says Shapes. Here we have a window like we had for the primitives, where we have different options. So we'll go to splines. Splines are basically lines, like paths in other editing softwares. And if we click on a circle or an arch, a rectangle, see how each one, if selected, has its own properties and dimensions. We're going to attempt to make a line manually. Get rid of this and go to Create Line. Select the top view. We'll do it from this view because it's easier. This way of creating lines is quite simple. It's just like the rest of the program. Click and as you move the mouse, the line is created. If you press Shift, it will be a straight line towards the angles you want. If you click and then hold it down and drag, it creates a curve, like we see now. To close our line, we could go back to the beginning and click or just right click and end on the last point we made. To understand the lines, let's go to the properties and take a look first at rendering. Here you have different options. The first one is Enable in Render. If you select this, you won't notice any changes, as this just activates the render view. If you wanted to see it in the viewport, then you have to activate the bottom option, which is Enable in Viewport. If you look down here, you have these options, Radial and Rectangular. These are the two options we have for the lines. We could make it radial, which would be rounded. We can increase or decrease the size, the radius. You can increase or decrease the size of the sides depending on the mesh that we need, or even the angle. Rectangular offers us similar properties. This supposes another way of modeling that could be very useful to make some objects. It could make it easier for us to create them with lines, giving us more control. Let's go to the next tab. Go to Edit with the line selected and then go to Selection. What this window shows us are the sub-objects of our object. This is really important as we see this when we model with shapes, cubes, etc. So the sub-objects of our lines are points, segments and the spline which represents the whole of the line. Let's go back to rendering and deactivate Enable in Viewport. Now we just see the line. If you're in Selection and you select the vertices, see how they activate so you can select each one and handle them if you need to. If you select the segments, then you directly access the segments on our line, in our case, 2. 
if we have the spline activated, then we'd directly access the whole spline. Open geometry and observe these options here. These are all things that we'll see again later on. And they're similar to the options we work with in shapes, cubes, cylinders, etc. See, if you select vertices, points, we get a selection of tools. In segments, we get another, and also in spline. This is important as it's the base for all our modeling. Finally, let's go to the selection panel and select the points. Clicking on one of them with right click and in the quartz menu, let's focus on this area here. There are three types of points, bezier corner, bezier and corner. If I click on this particular point here, it it tells me it's a corner. On the other hand, this point is marked as Bezier. Bezier gives us handles to manipulate the curves. And corner is simply that, a corner. Bezier corner is obviously between corner and Bezier.